Come over there. We're going to film you people. You want to, like, clap your hands, like, you know, you know, like you're enjoying it. Be uh, participants in the video. Carol, you could do it too, all right? What, should I start it? You ready for me? Okay, here we go. Everybody ready? Action. <laughs> here we go. Action. It's a take. Here we go, everybody. Let's hear. Come on, everybody. Put those hands together. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. All right. I've got the Oscar fever. How about you? Pour me some bubbly. What you gotta do? It's Christmas in Tinseltown. Academy Awards. Sit right down, enjoy the show. Welcome aboard. Well, who's gonna win? Who's gonna lose? I've got the Oscar fever. Nominees for you. Denzel Washington and Gary Oldman too. Daniel Day-Lewis, names that we all knew. Timothy Chalamet, we say how do you do? Daniel Kalua, we introduce to you. Soros Ronan Sally Hawkins, best actress nominee. Francis McDermott, Beryl Street Bagarabi. Who will the winners be? Who will the winners be? I've got the Oscar fever. How about you? I've got the Oscar fever. How about you? I've got the Oscar fever. How about you? Sit down. Enjoy the show. And the envelope. And the winner is. Now we send you over to Hollywood, Cal Hollywood, California. Take it away, DKR. On on uh, mixing, Manuel, push it. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Show me the money. I 
wish I knew how to quit you. That's a knife. Hey, it's the fifth annual Live on Cinema Oscar special with special guests Greg Turkington, Joe Estevez, Mark Proche, Dee Thomas, and many more. And my name is Bobby Valley. Let's turn it over to our host, Mr. Tim Heidecker. Welcome to the fifth annual On Cinema Oscar special. Let's give a big round of applause for DKR, who started the night off. And of course, we had Bobby Valley coming in from New Jersey. It's an awesome way to start the show and an awesome show we've got planned for you guys. We're so excited you can join us live. Tonight is going to be unbelievable. Um, I just get, I guess I want to get some out of the way real quick. First of all, I've got Greg Turkington here, one of the uh, hey guys. guests of the uh, Oscar special past. <sighs> Sorry, it was, a lot, it was actually a lot of um, energy in that performance. And these guys killed it, and it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of great energy. Um, we're so happy you're here, honestly. We're gonna, it's going to be a fun night. We've got a lot of stuff planned. And uh, I do want to just kind of get this out and get it over with. Um, sort of the breaking news tonight here is... Um, that that probably maybe could be the last performance of uh, of DKR, and um, that's kind of the news. And I don't want to get into the specifics of what that's about right now, but we are working on what the future is in that regard. So that was kind of a bittersweet. It was sort of the first time that we got a big audience like this, and also maybe the last time. We'll see. Um, this has been, it's an emotional, already an emotional night, and that's what it's going to kind of be, is it's going to be a lot of news tonight. Um, you know, Greg's here, and um, people are sort of like wondering why, because of uh, well, the way he treated me and the way oh, no. that, uh, uh, the way things went down during the last time we kind of saw each other was during the, um, the trial that I was made, that was, that was decided upon my innocence. My innocence was... Uh, determined by the state of California. I'm sure you guys know that. I'm an innocent man. And um, it's been hard because I, I, I had to watch Greg, uh, Mark Proch, Proch is here, is, who's here tonight. I had to watch him. Um, almost like in the, in the Bible, the character of Judas, um, how he turned his back on everybody. And, um, and, and people have said, why don't you drop them? And why don't you bring in new blood? Because this is so toxic. They bring in such a toxic energy. And the truth is, and I'll tell you a quick story before I get to, to you, Greg, and, and you can tee off with sort of the Oscar talk. That's why I want to kind of get this out, because we want to move on and get into fun, some fun stuff and good Oscar talk. But I want to clear the air. And I'll tell you a quick, very quick story. Uh, last week, I had a phone call with the great, late great Reverend Billy Graham, who passed on, as a lot of you guys know. I spoke to him, and he, I, I told him the situation that we were dealing with. We were getting ready to do the Oscars, and I didn't know what I was going to do because I wanted to kind of purge uh, people like you and uh, Mark and, and even Joe to some degree, and especially you, Manuel, and Axiom. But I said... Rev, what do I do here? Because, you know, I'm filled with, i got such anger in me. And the, this is what, the, what, what's, in, what's incredible about this story is that it was the last, I was the last person to talk to Rev, Reverend Billy Graham before he died, before he passed away. And he said to me, you have to learn to forgive and forget. And... You know, I sat with that for about a, for that night, and I woke up the next morning and read the news that he had gone. He had passed in the night. And then I found out that I was the last person to talk to him, which is pretty cool. Um, Where did you find that out? I spoke with his representatives. But the, tr the moral is I, I left that phone call. I was so angry at him. 
I said, I said the F word to him. I said F U, but I said F U C K U to him and hung up the phone. And I tossed and turned. I woke up. I said, ah, that, he was right. I need to move on. I need to, to forgive. And so I'm saying to you right now, I forgive you for, for the things you said to me during the trial. And I forgive to some degree, Mark. And I don't forget some things with over the, in that department is why we're shutting things down. But a lot of what he said stuck. And I'm, I just want to move past it. If you want to move past it, I'm, I'm all for it. And let's I mean, you have to. You wouldn't have a show because we're the ones that have all the movie expertise and all the concepts. And Mark does all these characters that you wouldn't be able to have anyone do. So I can see why you would forgive us. All but, right. Well, let's move great. on. No, that's, that's great. That's, we're, here, we're here to talk Oscar. It is the fifth uh, annual Oscar special. And people are saying, what's with Jaws? What's with Jaws? Greg, you, you uh, want to field that one. It's pretty kind of neat. He, I talked to Greg uh, last week. I said, how do we want to frame this? Year. What are, what's special about this, this year? It's the 90th anniversary of the Oscars. And he's, he had a couple ideas. I shot a couple of ideas down right away. This one stuck. Not sure why. Tell us a little bit about the Jaws theme tonight. Well, I was filing some tapes at the VFA, which I'll give you an update on what's going on with the VFA later. It's not good. Mm -hmm. um, I was filing some tapes, and I was filing the Jaws movies, and I realized, whoa, this is the 40th anniversary of Jaws 2 and we blew it we didn't cover the 40th yeah, anniversary we, of Jaws. It flew by. I don't know, when uh, was that? 2000? Three, three years ago, uh -huh. 2015 because right. um, we had other things at that time the, the Hobbit controversy was going on and we had other things to talk about. But this year there's no Hobbit movies. This year The Mummy was not nominated for an Oscar as I was told it would be uh, and so we needed a theme sort of to tie the past past uh, 90 years of Oscars with the future 90 years of Oscars. Wow. And the Jaws movies, I think, have been one constant throughout uh, the last few years of movies of something you could always count on with all four of those movies being excellent movies. Mm -hmm. Jaws 2 is kind of the Empire Strikes Back of the Jaws series in okay. that it's the sequel that topped the original. Right. Jaws 3 wasn't as good. Jaws 4 is close to being as good as Jaws 2. And, of course, Jaws 1 would be the second best of the Jaws movies. So to commemorate the 40th anniversary, uh, we've put together some segments that I think all the viewers are going to like. Uh, we've got some surprises that I'm not going to reveal. Me, let me ask you a question. They don't make movies like Jaws. In other words, they don't make movies no. that go on, that become, like for, the, for example, I want to talk about the movies that are nominated tonight. Uh, but I do and I don't because Frankly, th it's not been a good year for movies. No, it hasn't. Uh, and I wanted to ask you about that and why that is and what, what, what was working, what wasn't working. It'd be interesting to hear your two cents, but then we have to move quickly through that. Well, I mean, I think that Oscar's gotten out of touch with what people like and what people respect right. and, and the movies that are popular because uh -huh. uh, you take a movie like The Mummy that everybody I talked to loved and saw several times. It's, it didn't get nominated for a single Oscar, not even a technical Oscar. And then some of the movies that were nominated are movies that I saw, I loved, but I didn't really, really, uh -huh. really love I in the see. way that I love these four movies represented behind us or represented uh, through my outfit tonight, which... I was going to ask you because this is not an appropriate look. I mean, normally I would say it's a bad look. Um, you look <laughs> like... <laughs> you look a little off. Uh, well, what is... Show them the tie. Can we do a close-up of the tie? Because that's an actual Jaws this tie. This is the living... I'm a living movie poster tonight. <laughs> If, you, if, you, if I stand next to the Jaws 2 poster, you'll see, look at the white, mm -hmm. look at the red mm -hmm. from the Jaws 2, and then this represents the shark itself and the water. <laughs> it's, a, so, it's a look, for sure, and we're happy to have you here. If you were, you know, the so. average person would say, oh, who's that eccentric, you know, gentleman walking down the street? But a movie buff would say, where have I seen this before? Aha, on the Jaws movie poster. Oh, well, good for you. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. So we're going to talk about Jaws tonight. We're going to be doing Mark Pratt. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to reveal for the first time. Okay. People think Jaws 2 is the second Jaws movie. It was, in fact, the third. There's an unofficial sequel to Jaws that came out under a different name. You've all seen this movie. You all love this movie. Well, but what you didn't know was that it was actually the real Jaws 2 and that Jaws 2 is actually Jaws 3. Jaws 3 is Jaws 4. And Jaws 4 is actually Jaws 5. And we're going to get into that a little later. Okay. Uh, tonight's going to be a great night. We've got lots planned. Uh, 
One thing that's going to be a little controversial is, some of you guys know this, there was a movie that came out this year that wasn't nominated. The Mummy. Uh, no, the uh, Star Wars, latest Star oh, Wars movie. Oh, well, yeah. Which, I don't even know what it was called this time. What are they It's called the, 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 rip -off, the George Lucas oh. ripoff. So, as some of you know, George Lucas has been making these Star Wars movies and making a lot of money off them. And what's happened now is we've discovered, I haven't seen the movie, um, I refuse to see the movie. We've gotten good reports, good intelligence that there's a character in this latest uh, Star Wars Star Wars movie called um, Jonathan Kington. No, it's called the original co the Master Codebreaker. Master Codebreaker. So, what that means to all you Decker heads out there, you know that means that Mr. Lucas went in almost like a cat burglar would and stole wholesale from our pockets and he pickpocketed us with the original Codemaster character. So it's uh, shame on him. What we're going to do tonight is a mock trial and we will try, it does not be a legally binding thing, it's not like George Lucas is going to, the real George Lucas is going to end up going to jail, but we're going to simulate the trial of George Lucas tonight. As it uh, would happen. As it would happen and we've worked hard to make it right. So maybe the state of California will pay attention and, and do something about this because it's a shame. And it's a shame, and we're all here. Joe's going to help us out. Joe, do we want to see Joe? Joe Estevez is with us Tim. tonight. About time, Tim. About time he'd be called to the... I'm sorry? I said it's about time he's called to the mat on that. That's right, and yeah. it's uh, a shame that he had to... It's almost like if you run out of ideas, just stop. You could retire. You don't have to go into somebody else's treasure chest and rob them blind. He could have done, like, um, instead of taking our thing... Do another American Graffiti movie. They only did two of those. I'm sure that there's something that could be done there. Then a couple Why do you have to things, take my character? I, already, I feel like I went through this. I, yeah, this is going to be really hard. You understand that? With you. Um, yeah. Um, we also, you have some news about the tonight's Oscars that I think is kind of interesting. Well, I, you know, I run in some circles with some real movie experts, buffs, critics, some filmmakers as well. And I actually know a guy who works in the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, very high up. I cannot give his name here okay. for obvious reasons. He would lose his job and perhaps face criminal prosecution. He's there on the side of the stage with other Academy employees tonight hmm. and to avoid a repeat of what happened last year where the wrong name was in the envelope hmm. uh, they are giving the right name to several Academy employees just before the stars announce it uh -huh. uh, my friend I'm not gonna give his name is going to text me those winners about one minute before they're announced on national TV so you can watch the Oscars to find out who the best actor is, or you can watch this show and find out a minute earlier than oh. anybody else on is Earth. Is that allowed? Can this guy, does, I mean, this seems like we're going to be given top secret information. It's here. probably not allowed, but, uh, you know, we're going to do it. Okay. So, are, are we allowed to do that? I mean, I feel like we're going to get busted or something like that. If we're, are we allowed to do that? Can we? The it's leaks. Tim, it it's leaks. That's what Joe says. It happens in government all the time. And you know what? We're gonna. Oh, just, hold on. We got I one just now. Got, I got one that just came in. Okay. So this hasn't been announced yet. Um, this is. I, don't, I mean, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if we're allowed to do best this. Best supporting Folks, actor. Well, I'm gonna give it to him before the Oscars oh, do. Wow. Sam, Sam Rockwell is going to win for best supporting actor. Is that right? So Sam Rockwell is know? gonna win probably in about 30 seconds. He texted me this. We can cut to the uh, the show and see. Wow. Sam, Sam, Sam Rockwell. Okay, uh, can is we get confirmation win. if that, because it's been, when how they, long has it been? Well, he texted me this, I guess, well, shoot. He texted me this at 514, and I, was, I didn't answer my phone because you were talking, but. Um, All right, well. So I don't know if they, I don't know. I don't know, because I, I don't know what's going on on the Oscars, but. Well, get the ringer on, so. Okay, well. It'll be easier to, I mean, it doesn't, who knows. Anyways, that's, that, that's going to be happening all night long. Uh, that's the show uh, we have planned for you guys tonight. We've got a lot of exciting uh, surprises, and we've got a lot of uh, good energy. And you guys are listening. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, we're going to have a long talk about what's gonna, what the future looks like. I'm talking to those guys. Um, and I, I don't really know what to say. I mean, 
you guys have done everything right. So there's, it's not something you're going to go to sleep tonight. And, and uh, no, don't, don't pack everything up. It's fine. We're going to just, just. Go ahead and pack just, it up because we did the music. So let's focus on the movies now. Just chill. I'm just telling you, th there's a lot that we got to yeah. suss out. Just chill. Go over to the, the uh, Chaplain's Express and chill. I don't want to be some kind of like guy that's up here saying things are all great. You know? I mean, I want to bullshit you. And I'm not trying, I'm trying to do this in the right way. You know, I don't know how, to, I'm, I don't know how this is supposed to go. We've worked every other, we tried every other way. So just, just we'll, 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 we'll take a break uh, and we'll be back. This is the sixth, fifth annual Oscar, t sixth. Uh, on cinema Oscar specials, the fifth annual. Sixth. On no, last year didn't count. That was bullshit. Well, no one cares people about watched that. it. Not, Just as many people watched it as watched the previous ones. So. All right. Well, thank you guys. And thanks to Chaplin's Express for being a big part of this special tonight. Chaplin's mm -hmm. Express uh, featuring all kinds of food. And they're going to be a part of the show all night long. Yeah. We're excited to have them a part of the show. They're and um, I believe we're going to be listening. We get any more Oscar predictions coming in? What a night. He's going to text me when the What a night for Oscar. And this is, I love this here. This set, by the way, has been really incredible. Jaws from themed. From the beginning. And this set, we got to give a round of applause to the set design. I mean, unbelievable. And they got this um, uh, prop. Is this prop rum? Is this med made to look like an old sea shanty? Uh, sea, it's pretty, it looks real to me. So, anyways. And Happy some Jaws, to Jaws you. themed trivia that we put together too for That'll this show. That'll be a lot of fun. So, folks, we'll be back after this short break with more Oscar special. And thanks, so, thanks for and tuning in. We'll be back expertise. in a few minutes. And, and Greg's expertise. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the fifth annual On Cinema Oscar special. It is uh, a lot of fun to be here in Hollywood, California. I'm here with my guest, Greg Turkington, who's hey guys. representing, if you're just tuning in, he's representing all things Jaws. What an exciting year it is for the Jaws family, uh, Jaws the Shark and all the rest. And this is a big, big year for them. Just the tip of the iceberg. And I realize there wasn't a movie where Jaws was involved with an iceberg, but if there's ever a Jaws 6, that might be what they do. Well, Jaws 5 would be what it would be. Well, no, because but as I was saying earlier, Jaws 2 was actually Jaws 3, Jaws right. 3 was Jaws 4, Jaws 4 was Jaws mm -hmm. 5, so and the then, next yeah, one would be Jaws 6. But what is the what is the Jaws um, legacy now that we look back on 40 years of Jaws? Is it action? Is it sharks? Is it I mean, Spielberg's still doing, he's still making movies. That's still a career that's been, in other words, working and doing, he's doing all kinds of movies, whether they're uh, a movie about the newspaper and, uh, that, uh, and other movies. Or the so, initial series, E.T. and A.I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that could be, that could be interesting. Um, let me, I'm, I'm being told I need to, thank our sponsor tonight. First of all, the Delgado Fund. Um, very quickly, the Delgado Fund is one of the reasons that we are here tonight. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I've, uh, I, you know, I had a lot of loss last year with the families and with the, fi the kids from the Electric Sun 2019. And um, out of that grew this beautiful organization that is so important to me and is bringing arts back into the community in a way and um, making nights like tonight possible. So I want to thank the Delgado Fund for really stepping up. And, uh, and thanks, guys. And we'll have more on that. Um, but the other big sponsor tonight is Chaplin's Express, formerly Chaplin's Chili. We're joined by one of Chaplin's uh, employees, Hank. Hi. Hey, Hank. How's it going? Thanks for being with us again. Thanks for having us again. And Why the name change? Well, it's a new business. Chaplin's Chili bought back the rights to Chaplin's Soups and Subs. There was 
a lawsuit, but now we have grown out of that. We're still part of Levinson's acquisitions, and we're bigger than ever. We have 35 stores. Oh, great. Um, okay. Inside of gas stations for food on the go, for travelers. Uh, Southern California mostly, and then there's one in uh, Arizona. And so in what Yuma. you've done over there, it looks like you've created almost like what your store is in... Uh, yes. In there, okay. It's almost the full menu here. Um, hot dogs and everything? Hot dogs. We have um, five bean stew, and you could get a stew dog. We could put the stew right on the dog. Great. Um, and we have so like corn a dogs, dog? uh, like a stew. Um, and all the toppings. And this is most of what we carry, but we work directly with um, the different gas stations to cater to what their customers like. And um, we've also partnered all right, with a vape shop. Thank you very much, Hank. And vape lounge. Thank you. Yeah, and we're offering some. Is that, is that chili chase dip into the stew now? Or, or no, yes, don't get into that, new, Joe. Hey, okay. Joe. All right, never mind. This isn't 20 questions all on Chaplin's okay. Express. Right. Very different than Chaplin's. Let's uh, chili move the show sense. along. Okay. Uh, thank you. So happy anniversary to Jaws 2. Uh, we, want, we made this little package here celebrating 40 years of Jaws 2. Let's take a look. And this is an important video. Make sure everyone pays attention because 40 years goes by like this. Trust me, I know. Wow, I cannot believe it's already been 40 years. Happy 40th anniversary. Congratulations. Happy 40th anniversary. And happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary, my friend, and thank you for everything. We are wishing you a very happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Congratulations. Hey, happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. You're the best. Happy anniversary. All the way from across the pond. Happy 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Just want to wish a 40 year anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy anniversary, number 40. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. I hope you have a great day and have many more anniversaries. Just wanted to wish you a happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy 40 years. 40 years! You made it! Very happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Well done on 40 years. That's that's amazing. Happy, happy 40th, 40th anniversary. anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary. Keep rocking. Woo! Oh, that was almost got a little choked up there. That's amazing. I am I'm in that area. You know, I could I can tell you that's probably how old I could be. 40 years. That's terrific. I don't want to give my age, but that is The movie's you know. held up better than you, though. Well, that's <laughs> easy with that. That's disrespectful. It's respectful to the movie, though. Yeah. And that's what this is about. So. Anyway, as we promised, this is exciting. Uh, and I want to thank Mark Proach as much as he's um, crossed me. Um, I'm excited to see what you do. It's it's unbelievable what he's been able to do um, in such a short period of time. 
This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's Mark Proach doing what he does best, scenes from Jaws. It's, it's, let's take it away. I love this. Good for you, Mark. You all know me. You know how I make a living. This is a bad fish. He can eat you up and swallow you whole. A little tenderizing, a little shaking, and down you go. I'll be honest, this isn't like going down to the pond and catching bluegills and tommy cods. <clears throat> this is gonna be a lot harder. It ain't gonna be easy. And I don't want any other captains, I don't want any other shipmates. And it's gonna cost you a lot more than 3,000. I value my neck more than that. I'll find them for 3,000, but I'll catch them and kill them for 10. I know you guys all want your businesses back or you'll all be on the dole very soon. You'll be out there on Welfare Street. Well, I don't want to see that happen. 10,000 is a small amount for you to have to go through all that. You're doing, the voice at all. You're doing your straight voice, the character of- He sounded like me, I thought. He's got an Irish accent or something, yeah. doesn't he? The Quint, I, this is Quint from Jaws you're doing? He talks like this, like a pirate. Why can't you talk like a fucking pirate? My mom's side's Irish. No, it, I don't give a shit. Start it from scratch, but put a little energy into it. You're reading it. it sucks. Y'all know who I am. You all know how I make a living. That's better, but yes, speed through it. Cut to the end. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how I make a living. How is it? Dig into it. It's you're just, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You you can hear it. You watch the clip. I saw you watching the clip all morning. I could do a fucking better job than that. Just take it slow. Y'all know who I am. You all know what I do for a living. It's a little better. You, I, I'll do it. You, you think this fish is bad? It's not like going down and catching cod in the camera? and telecotty. Huh? Don't look in the camera. Look off camera. It's not like he's giving a speech in the camera. It's not gonna be easy. It's not like going down to your pond and catching tally cods and pods, po bluegills and cod. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. You're I forgot. Not doing it right. I forgot the. I forgot how he did it. Oh, hold on. I think I have an Oscar. Hold on a sec. Uh, stand by. Greg has a exclusive Oscar. Oh uh, no, sorry. Pick. It's somebody else. I don't know how I how you do it. I'll catch him. But you're gonna have to pay me more than ten thousand. I value my neck more than ten thousand dollars. I'll I'll find them for three, but I'll catch them and kill them for ten thousand. You'll have to put them. I'll get his head and his tail, and you can fry it up if you want. I don't mind. Fry fry him, and then I'll catch more jaws. I'll keep catching the jaws and jaws. I'll keep all right, catching that's off. Enough. Thank you. That you're off. You're off script, and now it's not. It's not an improv show. It's not a game where you're doing improv in the character of Quint. You're supposed to be doing. You promised me that he would be doing re recreations of famous scenes yeah, from you Jaws. Keep interrupting with direction when. Well, the direct, Roy well, Somebody and, had to. You're gonna let him just sit there and read it off the card like that? Well, that's what Spielberg did for his actors. Let's vote. We have a vote. Uh, we get a poll going. Uh, Let's see who <laughs> Mark's uh, Mark Proach's uh, uh, impression of Jaws was anywhere near what it was in the movie, and I regret asking. I'm instantly regretting asking you to be a part of this. Okay, now you want to take another shot at it now, quick? Sure. Okay, here we go. You all know what I do for a living. You all know why we're here. I'm right, telling you right now, it's not going to be. It's easy. not happening. It's not happening. I have to do a pause there. He does a pause. You, all right, but you're not, you're, you're breaking from the spirit well, when of the When did you seat. last see Jaws? You're it's not that far off. First of all, this isn't even Jaws 2, so I don't know why we're doing it. But you're breaking from the spirit of the film in a major way. I'm just I doing disagree. my best. I, I, and I know you have another couple of these scenes planned. Yeah. I suggest what you do is go back and work on them. Work them, work them over and over. I thought it was good. You're not. You're. You're absolutely going in the wrong direction of the spirit of the film. Roy Scheider was one of no. the only to come back for Jaws too. All right. You can know all the trivia you want for Jaws. You're sinking the ship that is this show. Okay. 
You are the shark driving into the side of the boat that is this show. I think it's and more. It, it has more Excuse, to do with the, Jaws than DKR set up. had to do with You're Jaws. You're off. You're off. Your tie sucks, and the spirit you're bringing to the show is also very low. And it's very. The energy's bad from you. Well, what you, I'm doing, you, you what he's doing, has everything, everything to do with Jaws. I'm sorry, you, everything you, you promised tonight there, so far I'll has gone down to do with Jaws. And, and go back but and I'm work not on the do it hey, for Mark, do what I tell you and stop jerking around and go back and work on the second scene. Because that's not, that's not going to cut it. Everyone's, look at the faces on the crew here. They're embarrassed to be a part of the They're happier the than they did during the DKR set. He looks great, and the makeup yeah. job is great, and the yeah. costumes are great. Everyone's doing their job except him. Get the, get him the script. You're acting like you're not off script. You're acting like you're remembering this thing. Don't no no. We're done with that. We're done with that. Great, great. I would like to excuse me. Uh, get him back in the makeup chair and get him working on that. Get him back. Somebody get him back. I'm not. I, he's in my eye line. He's got to go. When we come back, we're going to begin the trial of George Lucas. Lucas, we're coming for you. You've crossed me. And like everybody else who crosses me, you will learn to pay. And you will pay. And tonight, today is the trial of the century, the trial of George Lucas. Shame on you, George Lucas. We're coming for you. And it's you're, start packing because I'm going to win like I win every trial I do. The so trial of George Lucas trial. starts now. Sold them to the white slingers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, gathered here today to decide upon the matter of Tim Heidecker versus George Walton Lewis Jr. George Lucas. Uh, uh, George Lucas. Lucas, yes. Lucas. Lucas. Walton is your middle name, sir? Uh, whatever you say, sir. That's fine. Okay, I'd just like to make it official. Thank you, George Walton Lucas Junior, uh, we are gathered here uh, in the court of law uh, for the plaintiff, Mr. Tim Heidecker. Now, Mr. Tim Heidecker will present evidence to support his claims of character and intellectual property Fact. theft and fraud perpetrated, perpetrated by the defendant. And Mrs. Merton and Mr. Uh, Lucas's, uh, uh, and uh, by defendant, uh, Mr. Lucas. Uh, uh, Mr. Heidecker, you can uh, uh, prepare your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I should say I w it's an honor to be with you here today at the, in this court of law. Uh, I would l like to begin my opening statement by thanking Mr. Lucas for coming here and being and uh, not fleeing the country as somebody with his great wealth and great... Uh, wealth essentially would do. Uh, the case is very cut and dry, Your Honor, thank goodness. We're not gonna have to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, there's a film that came out this year directed by George Lucas called The Last Jedi, and I think let's all hope it is the last movie by, the George, by George Lucas in the Star Wars um, series, the franchise. In the movie, and we will, and at some point in the movie, we'll determine it during my interrogation will determine when in the movie there was a character established named the master codebreaker i can confirm that from my associate greg turkington here who in fact did play the character of kington as also known as the master codebreaker in the decker show uh three years which came out thank you which came out three years earlier suddenly it appears in the D D star wars movie now there's no further evidence needed to prove that this man is guilty of criminal larceny and as far as this is concerned should be sentenced to death but in the case of this court we will uh, exonerate him or we'll 
at least demand a uh, more than a slap on the wrist, but a uh, apology and financial rep retributions. <clears throat> That is my opening statement, Your Honor. And let's be honest, this is a cut and dry case. I expect you to honor us with your judicial oversight and guarantee us a guilty verdict for Lucas. And that, that's as clear as it can be. I rest my case. Well, it, was, it was marvelous, uh, Mr. Heidecker. Uh, well, all, all right, let's, uh, let's take a short uh, recess. And uh, uh, then when we come back after we adjourn, you can... Uh, you could call your first witness. Thank you, Your All Honor. Right. Court's adjourned. All right. Well, that was exciting. I think uh, it's a pretty interesting opening argument I made, and uh, we will be seeing more of that and in, in the justice will prevail justice will prevail and I think it'll be great to have you as a witness there because you are the original c code master Kington or Jonathan Kington as they say I have a lot to say on the subject <laughs> I so. bet you do and I think you're gonna be a star witness because when when the when the judge gets to hear that how you came up with the character I think it's gonna be a slam dunk and this, by the way, is not prop rum. I was told by the prop guys that this was prop rum. This is rum rum, and we're having a little bit of fun with it. But it almost goes with that sort of sea. I almost feel like I'm on a boat or something because it was Robert Jaws. Shaw from Jaws uh, died of alcoholism, <laughs> so it's kind of appropriate. Well, that's not funny. It's not a not a disease anyone should be laughing at. Uh, one disease that I never laugh at is the great D. Thompson. Um, he is, uh, D. Thompson, of course, is a friend of the show. He is one of the only people to have, I think the only person to ever successfully uh, sneak into the Oscars. I don't know what year it was. It was 21 years ago. This 21 is the 21st anniversary of his incredible... Blackjack. I wouldn't call it a stunt. I'd call it a feat. He got into the Oscars scot-free. And Without D, a ticket. And Dee was a guest on the show a few years ago. And now we're so pleased we actually have him live um, as he attempts to sneak into the Oscars one more time. Let's take a listen. He's going to replicate a his amazing historic feat. On March 24, 1997, Oscars Eve, struggling actor Dee Thompson made history as the first person to ever attend the Academy Awards without a ticket. For many, getting into those hallowed halls is the stuff of dreams. But through determination and luck, Dee Thompson made it a reality. Prayed and asked God to let me go to the Oscars, and I went to the Oscars. Walked there and rode home in a limousine with total strangers. The Oscars has better security than most presidents. They wouldn't know if you I know. came out of the toilet, <laughs> right? It's like Star Wars, you know, it's like they had all this high-tech security where you Star put your hand Wars, on yeah. this. It was a great evening, Cinderella-like evening for me. His impromptu attendance of the 69th Annual Academy Awards has led Dee to a lucrative book deal, magazine cover stories, and television show appearances. Now, 21 years later, D is about to attempt the impossible again. Tonight, on the fifth annual Live on Cinema Oscar special, we follow D's journey to return to the Oscars without a ticket. All right, D. D. Thompson, are you with us? Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. How are you? Where are you? Uh, I'm in Hollywood, you know, beautiful Hollywood. It's the 90th Academy Awards, and uh, I'm trying to get into the Oscars once again. Well, uh, I went there to the 69th. My friend, so, the Oscars have begun. I what? What's? Where are you? Got to get a uh, get a jump on. Well, well, Talk to I've, me. I've tried several checkpoints, and uh, I'm going to try another checkpoint, and hopefully they'll let me in. Pan, but, pan uh, the know, camera. Tell them to pan the camera. Where are we? <laughs> yeah. Pan yeah, the camera. We're Where are Hollywood. we? Hollywood, that could be anywhere. I don't, play, yeah. I don't buy it. Yeah, we're, we're, on, we're on Hollywood Hollywood, uh, Hollywood Boulevard, near Hollywood Boulevard. I think this is Cherokee. Okay. But uh, well, we're across from a costume stop in Hollywood. Costume okay. shop. Well, you, D, you promised you're going to get yourself in the Oscars again. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to do it, and I'm on my way, and I want you guys to come with me. So uh, let's go and see if we can uh, check another checkpoint, and uh, maybe they'll let me in this well, time. Maybe but don't drive up. Excuse me. 
Maybe don't drive up in that ridiculous, obnoxious truck you've got there. Maybe you could sneak in, be a little more covert. Uh, I'm gonna take your I'm gonna take your advice on that, and maybe you know, uh, we'll leave the car and that's just right. walk in. Yeah, don't wear we'll Oscar. Don't wear a shirt that says Oscars on it or something. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to get uh, into the Oscars. What did you do last time? You wore that outfit. Well, the last the last time I just had a tuxedo with a plain white shirt and a bow tie, so maybe uh -huh. that's what it is. Maybe. Now that I've got, yeah, yeah, I've kind of branded myself, so I might need to tone it down a little bit. So I think so. Yeah, give me a pass. Any advice, now, yeah, Greg? Man, I, <laughs> I think they might let you in because you're wearing that stuff, because they might say, oh, this guy did this once, let's let him do it again. Well, you're missing the show, so get yeah. going, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, tell Jimmy Kimmel we're on our way if you guys see him out there. No, we're, we're on our way. Okay, well, no, we're not at the Oscars. <laughs> Right. Okay, well, I'm on my way, and we appreciate you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Very good. Listen, I, I don't want to tone shift too much. I don't know if they have this ready, but to, I, the Delgado Fund really is why we're here tonight. Um, thank God for them. And thank, I just want to take, because we never really got a chance to do it in the trial. Uh, I want to thank the, the, the Electric Sun 20, or the 19, I should say. Um, do we have that? Can we get to that? Um, and it's, I, we don't have it yet, so we're going to wait for that. But um, I, I, they haunt me. I'll be honest with you. They haunt me. They should. And they're here tonight. I know they are. D Reverend Billy Graham is here tonight. He's talking to me in my head. And the 20 are talking to me. Every time I take a piss, they're in the mirror when I wash my hands afterwards. It's unbelievable. I'm like, get out of here. Trying to focus on the show. Unbelievable. They're just, they're really something else. And I know that they're up there just shining down on us and making the show what it is. And I dedicate everything I do in my life to them because they're, they're a part of me now. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a real interesting experience. That's all I could say. Greg, there's another important anniversary this year that's exciting. Yeah. Um, it's not only the 20th anniversary of, or 40th anniversary of Jaws 2, it's the 20th anniversary of the Rat Pack movie, mm. which came out in 1998. Terrific. Starring Don Cheadle and Joe Mantegna and uh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta, the from, original from Rat Godfell's. Pack. And this was a great movie. Um, a little bit under some people's radar when it came out, okay. but it went on to become a big cult movie that people get together and watch all the time. Um, and if you haven't seen it, you got to see it. And uh, to commemorate this movie, we've actually put together our own cast uh, of actors portraying Ray Liotta, uh, Joe Mantegna, and uh, Don Cheadle uh -huh. uh, as they appeared in this classic movie, The Rat Pack. Let's go to the rat. We're going to the Rat Pack Trap right now live. This is live, folks. Welcome, Rat Trap Packers. Welcome to the Rat Trap. Welcome, Rat. We're, we got a Rat Trap for the Rat Pack, is what we should, be, what we should have called it. some of that rum. <laughs> and this is Don Cheadle, Joe Mantegna, and Ray Liotta as, as Don, as a, what are they called? Um, the Rat Pack? No, I'm sorry. Well, either each one chairman is chairman of the board. Chairman of the board, and uh, do we have them on camera? Are we? Where are we? Yes, we are. There, we, there they are, boys. Uh, Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra, and Dean Martin. Take it away, guys. There you go. Let me tell you a story. That lass has class. This chick is hip. And if she takes you on her ride, it's a real crazy trip. The style, that smile, that just goes on for miles. 20th anniversary. It all adds up to just one thing. Yeah, that girl's just gotta be kissed. Her clothes, her hair. Oh, a look that's rare. And when she's passing by, it's so hard not to stare. Oh, 
those lips, those hips, beyond compare. And when she smiles, it's all you need to see to just one thing. Yeah, that girl. We're just, huh? Turn the music off. That was a bridge. I know music. Don't talk to me like I don't know music. I know music. That's not a bridge. Get a hat that matches your tux. Let, thanks, guys. Terrific stuff. Pretty good. Pretty Ray cool Liotta. to have the Rat Pack in house. So, guys, uh, talk to a little bit about what it was like back in the old days, back hanging out in Sammy. 1998. <laughs> Those were the days, my friend. Yeah. Groovy time, man. It was something really special. Cool. They're gone right now, but man, they'll always be in our hearts. I think I was sober back then. You see that? <laughs> well, I want to hear about. I want to hear about surprised. what it was like with Ray Liotta. Greg's. I don't. All right, you, if you want to ask him a question, you ask him a question. Um. You guys have seen the movie, right? Uh, yes, we have. How do? Who do you think's the best out of the three as far as capturing? Yeah. Joe Montana. Oh, and that is Ray Liotta. <laughs> any of you guys met Ray any Liotta, of the, the have you guys the met era. any of the people you portrayed, such as Don Cheadle? I've Ray, met Don Ray, Cheadle. Yeah? Matter of fact, he's a personal friend of mine. Nice there guy. There you go. That's yes, pretty cool. Have you, oh, got, awesome. have you met Ray Liotta? Not had the chance. I've met Joe Montana, but I heard that's the wrong guy. <laughs> Joe Montag Montan Montagnia. You can't even say his name. <laughs> He's talking about the football player. Greg doesn't know what he's talking about. Do you about. guys remember where you were when you first saw the Rat Pack movie? I don't even remember where I am right now. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I remember, man. Thank you. I was you in guys. a theater. You were in a theater. I that's was at the Beverly Hills, yeah. man, when I saw it. All right, that's, uh, thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, that, uh, Greg, not a great, not a great uh, plan right there. Well, I thought they were going to talk more about the movie, not about the Rat Pack. You know, in that movie... All right, that's enough from you. Oh. Cut his mic. I'm, t I'm sick of that shit. You're, oh. trying to, you're trying to upstage me now, because you know everything about music. Huh? Not at all, pal. All right, then shut up. All right. Go to the Chaplain's Chili, why don't you? Get yourself some hot dogs. Shove it in your mouth. It'll keep you quiet. Clear them out. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, he comes to me with sass. And... Read the room. Nobody wants that with your quips. Clear them out. Get them in the, in the lounge. Ax, talk to him about how to behave around me. Clear. Clear. Thank you. Ax, you give him a lesson on the deal. Help yourself to a free hot dog. All right. That's the rat pack trap. They're trapped. And I think that we should ask them to go because I don't know if we need that kind of... Well, no, because... For what we're paying for them, they're not going to leave yet. Okay. Hey, easy, 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 axe, easy. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody what? chill out. Just, we're not getting. Everybody calm down. Have some chili. What are you, 50 what are you, bucks. What are you paying them? 50 bucks? Do you have any of these uh, predictions? Have some respect for Chaplin's Chili over there, guys. Sit down and eat. Any of the Oscar predictions? You get any text from your, your pal? Oh, yeah. Anybody win? Is the Oscar still on? Hey, shut up! No. Has he not written you? I know, he hasn't. All right, well, thanks for making that a big part of the show. Well, they're probably doing... A lot of times in the Oscars they have big production numbers and things like that, so they don't they don't give yeah. the awards until later Listen, in the movie. I'm in a in bad mood show. with you. I'm in a bad mood with you, Rat Packers. Uh, I want to bring the energy back to a place of reflection and a place of. You shouldn't have been asking him about the Rat Pack in the, those days. We're trying to find out about How Ray is that? Liotta and Don. I Schittle. don't care about uh, some TV remake of the Rat oh, Pack. Oh, hold on. Story. I did get a uh, Leo is texting me. Okay. This hasn't been announced yet, but it's going to be. A production design award is going to go to the Shape of Water in about one minute. So, All right, great. 
Let's somebody track that. I would, seriously, somebody track that and find out if this guy's full of shit or not. How would that first prediction work out there, Ralph? It was right. Oh, so, all right. Yeah. Well. It was apparently right. Yeah. Now listen, the Oscars are going to do this. They're going to do some kind of uh, in memoriam about whoever who died this year. Who <clears throat> Jack Nicholson, whoever whoever died this year. Bit Reverend Billy Graham. They won't mention him because that's not PC. Um, who he died this year? Anybody? It's who died last year? Well, who died what? last year? Who's they going to mention in the in memoriam? Oh. Anybody come to mind? J I don't think very many actors died last year. Thank goodness. All right. Well, whoever did, they're going to make some big deal about it. But right now, I'd like to pay tribute because this is in partly because of the De Delgado Fund. Uh, we want to send a... Just our, received news that they just announced the winner, Shape of Water. Just for best as picture. Leo texted me. So. Okay. No, Where not for go? best picture, for... Uh, Production design. Yeah. All right, well, the so there you go. Work. Very cool. So tell your friends, if you're watching, tell your friends, we have the scoop. We've got the information one right. minute before America gets it. Listen, If enough. you want to win Thank bets, you. think about the money you could make placing bets on these things, getting the information from our show, placing a bet, high, right, high stakes bet. I would like to quickly go to, and this is because it is the Electric 19, the Electric Sun 19 is the reason we're here tonight. Let's remember, to take a minute to remember them. We're gonna show a clip that I put together to remember them and we'll take a break and we'll be back after, after that uh, memoriam. Thank you guys. <laughs> Here's the pen. <laughs> All right, the uh, court will come to order. Uh, in the matter of Heidecker Films versus PFA Films and uh, George Lucas, uh, Mr. Heidecker, you can call your first witness. Yes, I'd like to call my first witness, whose name is James, James Flint. Flint. James Flint to the audience. To the uh, bring James Flint to the audience. See, Mr. Flint, put your hand on the Bible. Don't do that. We don't need that bullshit. Don't need that. Just tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you. James Flint, thank you very much for joining us today. Now, Mr. Flint, you are an avid viewer of movies and film and uh, TV shows as well. I am. Thank you. And uh, can you confirm that you have seen the Decker television show starting as a web webisode concept uh, de uh, developing into a huge international hit on cable television? Yes, I have. Can you confirm the character of Jonathan Kington yes. as one of the main characters of the show Decker? Yes, I do. And in Mr. your opinion... Yes, I'm getting to that. Was that character often described in the show as a master codebreaker? Yes. Yes, he was. And my final question, Mr. Flint. No, have ask you, how many times has he seen the, the Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi? That's what I'm, I'm getting to. How many, uh, Mr. Flint, have you seen 
Mr. Lucas's so-called film, The Last Jedi, part of the Star Wars series. Yes, I have. And your uh, general impression of the film? Um, you can be uh, as candid as you need to be. It was okay. There you go. Mr. Flint, final question. Do you recall a character in the movie called the Master... Master, Master Codebreaker, Code Jonathan Kington? Yes, I do. But did it remind you of the character of the Master Codebreaker from Decker? Did it remind you of the character Master Codebreaker from Decker? Yes, it did very much. Was it a ripoff of the character Jonathan Kington from Decker? Yes. <clears throat> no further questions. No more, no more further questions, uh, Mr. Heidecker? Uh, all, all right, you, uh, you, you Oh, I have a question. Oh? Do you think George Lucas, with all his money and resources that created the whole Star Wars franchise, it's pretty sad that at this point he's resorting to taking characters from our show rather than coming up with something on his own? Good question. It does, it does seem that way a bit, yes. Mm. I would say. No, my next witness, please. Final witness. All right, you may step down. Do you have any more witnesses, uh, Mr. Heidecker? Do, yes. Yes. I would like to call the uh, Honorable Greg Turkington to the audience. Oh. Right. Swear to tell the truth? I do. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Turkington, uh, you are an actor as well as a film buff and a film student. Uh, well, I wouldn't say student. I'm more of a teacher. But yeah, actor, uh, critic, expert, buff. I was starred in the Ant-Man movies mm -hmm. and on Decker, uh, where I co-created the character of Master Codebreaker, Jonathan Kington, with you. Thank you. And then no further went questions. on to do... No further questions. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, do you have I anything else to add? To, yeah, I was, I was going to say I brought these to show the, um, this is Jonathan Kington, the master codebreaker from Decker. And then this is three years later, suddenly this character called the master codebreaker in his film appears. And they don't necessarily look the same, but they have yeah. the same name, which is very suspicious because Thank you very if you much. wait, if you do a Google search for master Codebreaker, the only things that you'll find are references to Jonathan Kington and Decker or this Star Wars. So this is not a phrase that was in common usage until uh, Decker created it. And it's the, until right. George and Lucas we have, uh, stole the character. Uh, all right, you, uh, we have an uh, update. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Stole, stole and the ladies concept. and gentlemen, too, we have to, uh, late breaking interruption to the trial. We have an update from D. Thompson coming in. D. Mm -hmm. And I think we're probably going to be able to get in with this uh, We're real close to the accident. Say that again, Dee. We don't have visuals. We're close to the uh, Oh, hold on. I have the best forward language. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. Tim, I have the best okay. forward language. Right. Where are we now, Dee? We're at the corner of Hollywood and Highland. Okay, this let's get in there. This is where all the, uh, well, obviously the fence here. Okay. Here. You want to get over? The Try best foreign language movie is going to be The Fantastic Woman. Okay, let's Michael cut to Greg, please. Here. We cut to Greg. Right here. Go ahead. Uh, Leo says the, the Fantastic Woman in about 30 seconds will win for best foreign language picture. Sounds like picture. the Fantastic Four. Okay. Thank you, Dee. Looks like you're up against a, a fence there. Oh well, looks like you're shit out of luck. Thank you, D. Thank you. So right inside there is the uh, the Oscar for many of the Yeah, thank you. We can cut on D. Thanks. That's enough. Sammy? Yes, man. Uh, you ever go to the Oscars there, Sam? Yes, I did. 1965. Very cool. Called Don, yeah. Don Cheadle, not Sam. Mr. Mr. Cheadle, have you ever won an award? Mr. Cheadle, 
I don't believe Mr. Cheadle did win an award. What happened to him? Why did he stop I becoming an actor? I don't know. It, it could be a thing where... See, you used to see him, excuse me, you used to see him in all kinds of big hot Oscar movies and suddenly he disappeared from the scene. Did he have some kind of incident with the... Does he has any issues that we need to know about or... There's no issues that I know. Thank Might you very much. because of Will Smith. I don't know. What do you mean, Will Smith? Well, it seems to be taking most of the roles right now. I but see. That's okay. He deserves them. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have some more music from the Rat Pack shortly. Do we have another witness for the trial of George Lucas? Or would Mr. Lucas like to take the stand himself? <clears throat> okay, Lucas? we will return, Judge. All right, yeah. Court uh, is in recess right now, and we will uh, we will come back uh, directly. Thank you, Joe. That's why I asked you to come to rehearsals, because you you I have to drive this. Tim, I was working on another game. I know, man. but you I have mean... to drive this. I can't drive. Judge okay. has to drive. Okay. Let's go. Greg. Just use your other hand. Sorry. Got a little rummy in my tummy because it's the 90th anniversary of Oscars and we are... 40th anniversary of Jaws 2. 40th anniversary of Jaws 2. Greg, 20th you, anniversary of the Rat Pack movie. 20th anniversary of the Rat Pack movie and we are absolutely thrilled to have an actor who is a part of the original Jaws to experience, he was the one of the kids in the movie. So he's been it's been 40 years since he's done it. His name is Keith Gordon, and he is an actor. You've known him for men, an actor and a director. You've known him from many movies, including Back to School and Christina, uh, the car, the action movie with the car, Stephen King, and uh, but he was one of the little teeny boy, teeny weeny boys, teenagers in. Uh, Godfather or Jaws 2. Get him out of here, Keith. Keith Gordon. One of the greats. Hey, hey Keith. Thanks Keith, for coming thank in. Thank you so much, Thanks Keith. For, for and look him up in the movie. You won't see how long are you in that movie for Jaws 2. There he is on the screen. Is that you? Uh, that was that, yeah, that's a very young version of me. Yeah. Very that's, good. I was 16 when we did that. How do do you, you like did that? you keep the hat and the shirt and all that stuff to sell? I did keep the hat. I didn't sell it, but I did keep it. It's Got it stored away. Because I buy a lot of movie props on um, on talk, eBay, right? and then we had a, a guy, uh, Carl Gottlieb, sure. was on our show on Decker, and he brought in the original harpoon gun that they used. Uh, Carl came in, the, in and, and rewrote Jaws too. I mean, when we were we were well into production, and the whole thing shut down and fell apart, and Carl came in and. and you said, "No, you're doing the interview." Oh, sorry. No, I'm just I'm asking because he seems. Like, well, I know like, more about. Subject, All right, well, then you can chime in when, and if there's something, to, some point to be made. But right? you sort of said that you hadn't really seen Jaws 2. I did I'd not say that. I haven't remembered you from that. It's been well, so it's, it's long. It's been a long time. I mean, yeah, that's, what 40, I'm, that's my point. 40 years, so. Right. I mean, and you've been doing other things, too. Yeah, I've kind of been, I mostly now direct and write and produce. Yeah. I don't really act much. We anymore. all write and direct. I, I guess, yeah. So. Uh, you should direct a new Jaws movie. I don't know. It seems like that, they didn't go very well. Those were, uh, they were very hard. So why was Jaws 2 such a flop? Because it wasn't a flop. I, well, people don't talk about. Well, well, first I of talk all, about it. Compare it to Jaws first, 1. Jaws it's better. Great movies. You think it's better? I think Jaws 2 is the best. Jaws 1 is the second best. Jaws really? 4 is the third best. Jaws 3 is the fourth best. Fourth best. Hmm. I don't know. I think the first I, I think it was a big mistake to center the entire night around Jaws. That's my honest opinion. Because and that was his plan, with the Rat Pack and then Jaws with the shark. It's it, it's not a fun show for anybody. You well, know what I mean? It's it's like you have the Jaws, a, a cla movie classic, popcorn four popcorn classics, or you have DKR, a band that nobody likes, or 
right. you know. Well, so. Keith, you've been so kind to come down here. Where? What's your favorite movie of all time? Uh, personally, my favorite movie? I don't know. Probably yeah. Was, probably, I would say 2001. Jaws 2. Space Odyssey. That was, probably, that was the movie that made me want to oh, yeah, do yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. So. That so they shot Jaws 2, obviously, at, okay. at Universal you know Studios in Orlando. Uh, I mean, what am I doing here? Sorry, I can. Well, you asked me to do to have some questions. Just, so they shot that at Universal Studios I tried in to Orlando. Talk, I want to ask um, him about no, different actually, stuff and acting and being a part of movies. I don't know if you remember. Or being a part of. He was in Back to School. At that point, he's we been were in Christine movies. Town in the Panhandle of Florida, <laughs> called Navarro Just give it a moment. Which, yeah. Which yeah. really wasn't a town. Like, no, it was like I a don't. Holiday Inn. That was it. Mm -hmm. There was like nothing else there. He's such a usurper. He comes in. He steals my butt. He steals the energy. But lots of movie buffs and things would have dropped by to check out the filming uh a few but we were like 40 miles from anywhere i mean the nearest town was pensacola and that was like 40 miles away so we oh were i gotta like do it kind of on our own in the middle of this strip of beach did steven spielberg huh. drop by the set at any point no i wish he had that would have been really cool but no he never did thank he you very much he didn't seem to want to have anything to do with it um, oh, and we do you know it. i'm sure you know because you would have heard this oh, on the set but that <clears throat> Jaws 2, the original title for Jaws 2, and this would have been on the first script that you were given right. from your agent, the original title for Jaws 2 no one, no was one wants Jaws this. No one wants 3. This. Let's go because to Keith, Jaws, thank you so much the actual for Jaws 2... For this. No, 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 listen. No. Tim, the Keith, actual no. Jaws 2... By the way, this is Chaplin's Express hot dogs. are very The good. actual Jaws 2 was actually Jaws 3 because the actual Jaws 2 was Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Because the character of Dr. Hooper, played by Richard Dreyfuss, Steven Spielberg said, okay, we're going to do a sequel to Jaws, but rather than just have more sharks, let's take this character and have some other interesting ha things happen to him. Nobody cared about the sharks in Jaws. What made it was Richard Dreyfuss's Nobody performance. Nobody cared about the sharks in Jaws? What are, you, what are you daft? I'm saying that Richard Dreyfuss was the... That's what made the movie. What was it like working with Richard Dreyfuss? But no, Jaws? because Richard Dreyfuss was making the real Jaws too, which was one? Close okay. Encounters. I didn't get to work with him. Uh, he's sort of okay. No, I but really check this out. If you check this out, if you collect old scripts, if you collect old scripts, Don Cheadle, you ever work with? Uh, if you collect old scripts, the original hey, script got, for Close Encounters of the Third I'm Kind of this. is called Jaws 2. Don Cheadle, because you ever they worked took with the characters Richard Dreyfuss? That, and Spielberg was going to direct Jaws 2, and he did, but it was called really? Close Encounters of the Third Kind. How about you, Dini Boy? And they got rid of the oh, shark element. Really didn't I, that, that doesn't, I, I, I didn't oh. know. Thank you. All right, well, that's and so Gordon they were so mad here. at him for doing this, for not putting a shark yeah. in the second Jaws movie Greg, and making it Greg, out of space. Greg, that's the end of the... Revenge against Spielberg, we're moving on from They that. came up with this Jaws 2, which should have been called Jaws 3, huh. and that's when you stumbled into this thing. I, and and I, what, what you were telling me was that this movie took almost a year to are film you gonna because they were picking on this? up the pieces. Are you going to filibuster on this? I want to cut to Mark and let him do his next no, segment. Everyone's clamoring for Mark. Mark! Yeah, Mark. Um, Mark is going to be but doing Jaws 2 should two. have been called Jaws 3. Excuse okay. me. Okay. Um, I, I didn't know that. Thank you, mm -hmm. Keith. You're welcome to stick around. You're a okay. nice guy. You stick around. Okay. Keep me separate. Believe me, if I start running, if I start going for him, you have to step in the middle of it. If you start going for me, then you have no movie expertise on your show, and you can play your bad music, but nobody's going to be watching. Well, I told you I broke up the band for you, and I'll tell you about that later. Mark, action. This is Mark Croach. The famous Indianapolis scene from Jaws. Let's hit it. Jaws 2. USS Indianapolis. We went, we, two tor torpedoes took us down. It was after we. Who the fucking action? <clears throat> Come on. USS Indianapolis. Two torpedoes took us down. It was after we dropped the bomb. Hiroshima bus standing. What is this? Some kind of. Annie is going to be named best supporting actress in about one minute. Thank you. Mark. Hiroshima bomb. Seven hundred men went down. The first shark came up. What the fuck is your problem? I told you to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. The character sits. Be smart. He does this. He does this a lot. Be smart. Do it. The first shark came about an hour and a half later. It was a tiger shark. You know how you can tell how long a shark is? You measure their dorsal fin and their tail fin, which I honestly like 
have no idea how they could have done that in the film. What? If you want to catch a, if you want to catch this isn't a, W. C. Fields, dummy. Hmm. Do the script. Have some respect for Carl Gottlieb. <laughs> One of the greats. Action. You got to catch the fish if you want to kill a fish. We were there and they came about an hour and a half later. It was a tiger shark. And they came and they shot. Now we have a director here, Keith Gordon. Keith, you're a director as well now. Yeah, yeah. Would you direct him? Because it's not working for, with us. He's. I'm doing my best. Well, you know, I, I, it's, it's, I mean, it's hard to do. I mean, it's hard to live up It's to a long to chunk of words. Robert Shaw was so amazing. You know, I mean, that was such a hard thing to, uh, you know, and, and I think he might be a little intimidated now. I mean, he kind of seems to have a little tense. I mean, but. Well, let's clear the air. If you want to clear the air, we can clear the air. Mark, you're it, a great actor and you're a great impersonator. And we, let, we appreciate you and you're really a talent. And Thank you. You are really one of the best. Thank you. So. Air cleared, action. USS Indianapolis, two torpedoes sent by Japanese ships. They hit us, that was right after we dropped the bomb, Hiroshima bomb. Hiroshima, Hiroshima bomb. And 700 men went down. About an hour later, the sharks came. All right. Tiger uh, shark. I'm doing all the words. I know you are, but I mean, you understand, you see how this is just flat, right? It's flat. Well, I'm not doing my classic, I'm not, you Frank? wouldn't let me do my classic comedians. You wouldn't let me do W.C. Fields. Oh, you're and talking, you, you're, talk, you're talking back to me now? Well, I'm talking in general, because you wouldn't let me do W.C. Fields, you wouldn't let me do Groucho Marx, Three Stooges, right. The Little Rascals. Right, here's the thing, here's the deal. You've got, we've scheduled you for three Jaws scenes. Okay. Plus my finale. Well, we'll see if we get to that. Strike. There's two strikes on you right now. I'm two doing... strikes on you. What are they? What's baseball, Keith? Three strikes. Three strikes. Thank but, you. I mean, it's hard. It I'm is doing hard. my best. It is Did hard. That's Jaws why three? pros succeed I, I didn't see and amateurs really. fail. So you're in the Jaws too, but then when the third one comes out, you won't even go see it. Well, I wasn't. I, I wouldn't, but I just, you know, it wasn't. Clear. Did you see Jaws okay. the Revenge? You understand? I'm, I'm doing, doing my best. And you're out. So, so you're doing my best. Well, well, let me you talk to you about that. Can we talk to me about what your best is? I kind of your, figured it probably wouldn't be. Your best isn't good, good enough for us. So, yeah, okay, so go outside and learn your lines and get ready for part three. Part three. Okay. This is a, always gets away from talking about movies. Um, All right, guys, hit it. Something from Sammy would be great. Thank you. But did you, so you saved that hat? Or? There's a place captivates and enthralls me. Just the thought, and I want to be there. Broadway glitters, real perfect. In the village, here's some jazz. Lots of noise and lots of noise. Am I blue? Oh, contraire. Central Park, when I want to be quiet. Catch a show if I want to be up. Recipes for connoisseurs. Memories for raconteurs. All the noise and all the bliss. Because it's all right there. My New York. It's a long bridge, man. If I had my tap shoes, I'd be tapping right now. Central Park, when I want to be quiet. Catch a show if I want to be up. Are we breaking? Are we breaking, man?
I'm talking, those guys gotta go. Hey, those guys gotta go. Hey guys, it's enough. We don't, it's, it's over. Goodbye, get them out. Get them out, get out of here. Walk out, walk them out. Hank, help me out, get them out. Don't give them any fucking food. I'm sick of it. I can't hear that crap. Yeah, no, that's the real, that's the theory that it's going around. Yeah. Because. Get him out! Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Now, move. This way. Yes, you're going that way. So he's Goodbye. He's picking the rat pack off. Goodbye. Uh, he's, okay. He's rage of all of it. Pull it off. Candy colored fun. I gotta pay those guys. I gotta go pay those guys. You want some help with that, Greg? You can handle it, can't you? Back in section, uh, Mr. George Walton Lucas, the, the junior. Uh, do you uh, swear to tell the truth, nothing but truth? I do. All right. Mr. Yes. Uh, Mr. Lucas. I'm I got this. What, what is directed. the first don't, film? It's okay. you have, don't ask it. What is the? I really just want to ask him. You're uh, you were directed the Star Wars movies. Well, first of all, under yes this... Yes or no, Mr. Lucas? Under this forum... Yes or no! Sir, let me answer the question. First Judge, of all, I'm under this you forum... I'm asking this guy into, into order. Under here. this forum, Battlestar Galactica is not mine. Thank you. And I just wanted to clear that up to get all these people off my back, okay? Now... Did you or did you not direct Star Wars? Answer the question. Uh, Answer the question, George. Well, first of all. Answer the question, yes or no? To avoid. Self what do you think I am, Rosetti the Rat? I'm not going to take this. Now answer the question. What do you think? What are you, Sismic? Get him, get him to fall in line. <clears throat> we don't want to hold you in contempt. Yes <laughs> or no, Lucas? I take the Fifth Amendment. All right, he takes the Fifth. Judge, can I get a ruling on this? I'm going to hold you in contempt. I do not even have to go and. Uh, i uh, take a recess. I find you guilty as charged That's right. of stealing this man's intellectual property. I'll drink to and that. And not only that, I sentence you to 150 years in a cell where there's no TV, so you can't steal anybody else's property. Court is adjourned. Get him out of here. Court is adjourned. You think Get that's, you think that's punishment? Get him out of here. Court is adjourned. Yeah, should have failed. Clear him out. Thanks for doing this, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Greg uh, Turkington has an exciting segment about the... Oh, the Super, Super Oscars. Oscars, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we all enjoy watching the Oscars. That's why we're here watching this show. One complaint that people have about the Oscars they don't have them often enough. Now there's different solutions for that. Some have proposed two Oscars a year. Uh, some have proposed having two ceremonies a year, so you cover the movies released from January to June for Oscars one, and then from July to December for Oscars two. Another idea that I came up with is the Super Oscars, where you take all the movies that won the Oscar over 20 years, and put them up against each other. Thank you, and get our director's chairs in here. Thank you. So Super Oscars is a platinum statue. So we're going to take the 20 movies that won the best picture from 
1998 all the way up through 2017, and we're going to pit them against each other to win the Super Oscar for Best Picture of the last 20 years. And we're going to do that by having votes that you can take part in on Twitter. They'll put it on the screen where you can vote for these movies as we count down to the number one movie of the last 20 years, the Super Oscar winner. We've got Birdman versus The Artist. No Country for Old Men versus Shakespeare in Love. The Departed versus Argo. Beautiful Mind versus Slumdog Millionaire Titanic versus Spotlight. In this bracket, we have Lord of the Rings Return of the King, probably the favorite to win, versus Gladiator. The Hurt Locker versus American Beauty. Crash versus 12 Years a Slave. Moonlight versus Chicago and Million Dollar Baby going up against the King's Speech. All of these are going to be put up to vote on Twitter immediately following this uh, explanation. Please vote. You are choosing. This is your chance to shine to vote and directly choose the winner for the best picture for the last 20 years, the platinum, coveted platinum Oscar. And that's coming right up online on Twitter. So they'll put the address up. So just look on the screen and it will tell the All right, that's we're back. And do you have any updates on the Oscars? Who won? Well, we're doing the Super Oscars right no, now. No, the Oscars is... tonight, 29th Oscars, the 90th Oscars. I got to tell you, I... The Super Oscars is kind of more interesting. I apologize for cutting that in. I apologize to Keith. I just... I don't know. I mean, I just thought... I think Billy Graham is in hell because I've been praying for him, praying to him, asking him what I'm supposed to do, and nothing's coming back. And I'm asking him, because I'm trying to get, I, I kicked those guys out and made them, and ruined their night, and I'm that, I ate that hot dog, which I'm not supposed to eat, nitrates, and not see, you're supposed to eat salt now. And now that chaplain's chili, I gotta tell you, man, that chaplain's hot dog, I've had better hot dogs at school, like, you know, at, from elementary school. It's, I don't know, those, those are not right. Something's off with them. It's low-grade hot dog, and that's saying something. Shame on you. Uh, who wants to be, who's in Super Oscar heaven right now? If you now? haven't voted already, um, go to Twitter slash On Cinema Oscars to vote for the Super Oscars. One movie's going to be walking home with a platinum statuette tonight. And who's win? Who, did we have the first round in yet? Does anybody know? We're still collecting data, but okay. we're going to get to that. What about from your source? Let me see. Okay, um... But That's a hot dog is awful. What's, what, what's in that? Is that just standard gas station hot dog? No, it's our special recipe. We make it It's your special factory. recipe for hot dog? Yeah. Are you bullshitting us? No, we have a factory in Norwalk. We make all the hot dogs there in the morning. Bun stale? Distribute No them. one wants French's? I'm sorry. I mean... It's fresher if you get it I'm from sin, one of the I wish we had, I, I wish we had any other sponsor. I'd take Durex condoms. I'd take uh, NRA. I'd take anything over you. It's not that bad, is it? It's not great. All right. Not Mark's best. coming back to surprise us. His, first, his last, his final chance of redemption. And this is exciting. Mark Proch is a great comic artist. He is, you have the artist on the board. Any, any thoughts on that? The artist, well, we're, you know, it's paired up against... Uh, Who do you think is going to win in that category? I can give you the results that we're at right now for the artist versus uh, Birdman. Right now it's Birdman 77%, artist 23% with 842 votes in. Really? So if you haven't voted already, please do vote. This okay. is important. This is more important than the real Oscars because it's the Super, it's super Oscars. Oscars. So Mark is a comic artist, and I, I believe we gave him too much. We bit, he bit off too much on this special. I, I, I'll be the first to admit that. 
I don't yeah. think so. Uh, well, so far he's two out of three. He's been he's swung out twice. This is zero and two, as they say in baseball. And this is his final segment. It's not dialogue heavy. This is a choice from Greg. This is a scene at the end of Jaws one, where Detective Hooper from Jaws, uh, what's his name, uh, Richard Dreyfus, is uh, deciding. Mark, are you ready? What is, yeah, so we're going to cut to this soon. Mark is on, let's show Mark. Mark is, uh, what is your part now? Because this is, what's not? This is where, uh, this is where Quint goes down. No, not Quint, Hooper. This is where Hooper goes down, and he, uh, he tries to inject uh, the jaws. So this is... All action, no dialogue. This is dialogue. one of the great scenes Talk in cinema scene. history. You have experience with this scene. This is one of the great movie scenes of all time, and I think that you're going to find that Mark uh, does it justice. And I was at the rehearsal <laughs> before he was in the costume, and it was very, very convincing. All right, before we cut to the scene, Greg, you have an on-cinema, on-location spectacular show. Yeah, this is kind of something that is a treat. It's my face-to-face -face encounter cool. with the real Jaws. And that's something that not a lot of people get to do, but I did uh, by visiting the studio that actually produced Jaws Universal. Okay. And uh, so let's take a look when at this. When we come segment. back from this, we're going to see Mark's scene of fighting Jaws. First time ever done before, where we see Jaws, it's quiet, before when we see Jaws fight Hooper. Action to Mark's scene, to Greg's scene. <laughs> Hollywood, California, home of movies past and present, and I'm off today to the shrine of all shrines, Universal Studios. Hey guys, we're here at Universal Studios, about to meet the biggest star of them all, none other than Jaws. As I walk in uh, to one of movies' greatest locations, Universal Studios, where so many great movies were filmed, and of course, the greatest of them all, Jaws, as well as the Jaws exhibit, where you get to meet Jaws himself, one of the biggest stars in the Universal Galaxy. Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. We are ready for, ready, is, are we ready with Mark? Is Mark He's gonna do his um, okay. Jaws. Yes, one this of the is, we've been talking Jaws. about this all uh, night. We've been talking about Jaws scenes and this is exciting because for the very first time we're gonna be seeing, hopefully Mark will get this right. Mark, you're, uh, we're counting on you. So Mark, take it away from the scene, the famous ending of Jaws where Dr. Hooper descends into the deep blue sea to uh, try to stab Jaws, I suppose, suppose would stab Jaws, and uh, Mark, take it away. Mark? Get... Mark? You get Mark? Uh, hey, hey, run. Take it. All right, we want to... Mark? Wake up. Mark! Hey. 
Did somebody get Mark going? We're live, Mark. This hey, live. hey, hey, hey. All right. We're, uh, we get the, get the, uh, sorry about this, guys. Get the, um, get the helmet off him, right? Hold on a minute. Sorry, guys. We're dealing with a little, what's that? I don't have any. Let's um, hang on, everybody. We're just having a little technical difficulty. Is use the spear. It's the the yeah, like, use the that helmet spear. Or? No, we just need like a wrench or something. Okay. Can we get somebody? Let's somebody get a wrench. Okay. What's going on, Mark? Hey, is he not getting up? What do we want to do here, Eric? Can you yes. Okay. Sorry. Get the mat. That. Just. Like, I don't know. You want to do a unbolt the thing from his. You should take, be able to take the thing See off. See if he's awake. Yeah, right it's not. We should do. Okay. All right. Well, we have like some a, technical. We do one of the Bobby some, Valley segments. Yes. Uh, Bobby Valley is not. What's going on? Okay. Bobby Valley, who joined us in the opening, Bobby Valley has joined, ha, who's joined us at the opening for the uh, stirring rendition of Jaws of, uh, sorry, Bobby Valley, who has joined us at the, at the opening of the segment with Oscar Fever. Has some uh, no don't don't put the camera on us, don't put the camera on on them. No. Put the uh, put camera on camera one, camera two, camera one. Uh, Bobby Valley. All right, do you want to stop? Should we go to break? Or we'll go to the bo okay. Yeah. We'll go. Um, Bobby Valley, who has been a part of uh, the On Cinema family for many years now, has many Oscar memories, and this is just one of them. Valley remembers. What the fuck is going on? Mark? Rat Pack stories to share. Okay, I'll tell you a story. My brother was invited to a birthday party at Frank Sinatra's house in Palm Springs back in the early 60s. And at that birthday party that night was Jimmy Stewart, Kirk Douglas, Burt Lancaster, Loretta Young, Lauren Bacall, Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz, Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin, all in the same room. Jaws 2, uh, th that's an older movie, isn't it? Yeah, well, that was a great movie. I I'm glad I wasn't in the water. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, everybody, we're back, and uh, we've got a, we're dealing with a little little issue here. Can we get? Sorry about that. We have a little issue, and let's cut that. Can we cut that. Can we stop that, guys? Guys, guys, it's not working. Got to get help. Better somebody that knows what they're doing. Uh, we have some issue. Mark is um, in uh, dealing with an issue right now. We're trying to get him some help. Uh, and uh, we, um, talk, how's that? What's the news with the Oscars? I don't know. I haven't gotten. What about the Super Oscars? Do we have any news on that? Yeah, I mean, people are voting. Get the... You gotta get the you guys, I know. helmet off of him. Right there. Right. He's gotta be able to breathe. We're live right now, so can you just do some, do the Super Oscars here? 
Who won between Birdman and the artist? Um. Don't worry about the phone. Can you go to the Super Oscars? We have to keep the show going. We're live. Um. All why, right. Why, where, where is the, uh, where's 911? They're coming. Okay. We'll do some Super Oscars until um, yeah. the paramedics get here. Um, between in the battle between the Titanic and Spotlight, mm. the winner was well, the, the public picked Titanic. So, okay. all right, Titanic is moving on to the next round. Is he okay? Why can't they get the helmet off of him? That's what I don't understand. The guy's at saw, and it just doesn't seem to be able to get the helmet off of him. We just stay focused on the He put the, the helmet thing. on stay himself, on the so thing. they should be able to get that. Be fine. Uh, between a beautiful mind and Slumdog Millionaire, this was close. This was 49 percent beautiful mind. Slumdog Millionaire, fifty one percent. Margin of error is ten percent. Uh, I preferred Beautiful Mind. And I am going to award. Is he not? What's going on in there? Okay. Well, can we get? Why can't we get that off? Just get the helmet off of him so we can get some. Get it off. Okay. Well, who's put? Who put that? Who put it on him? Whoever put it on him. Just get okay. the helmet. Yeah. The, but the problem is we can't get the helmet off. You know, like we don't. I don't know what we're supposed to do if we can't get the helmet off. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Get him, uh, we should go to, let's just, yeah. Get the, why don't we go to, because we shouldn't be on, this shouldn't be on camera. Can I go, I have to talk to uh, somebody back there. Do you not, do you guys want to cut to? Hey everybody, welcome back to the fifth annual On Cinema Oscar special. Um, Tim Heidecker, your host, and I'm joined with Greg Turkington. And uh, we've, 
Um, we got you know a little bit of good news here. Uh, Mark Proch, who's uh, was having an issue with his uh, diving suit that he was in. There was a little technical difficulty there. Is uh, in good hands, and he is uh, being being taken care of right now. He's being uh, put in. Uh, I guess the EMS, the ambulance drivers here, the first responders have uh, done un incredible jobs, and, and it's a miracle that they came so quickly, and we, we wish him the best, and we know that he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be all right. And, uh, you know, I don't know what happened there. He was some, something about the flow of air, I guess, was not, we're not sure. That's a little too early to say what's going on there. But lucky he, that the ambulance, because of the Oscars, all the roads are blocked. Opened. No, they're blocked because they shut off all the streets. Well, so around, know, like around that immediate area. Speaking of that, we want to check in with D. Thompson. D. Uh, D. Do you have any luck getting in? You're almost going to miss the show. The show's almost over. Hey, any chance? Uh, I'm here in Orange and uh, Orange Boulevard, Orange and uh, Highland, Highland Boulevard. So we're going to try and go in from over here and see if they'll let us in. I know it's the end of the show, but uh, you guys just bear with us. Maybe we can get in and catch the last last of the show. But um, okay, you didn't change your shirt. Knows. I haven't changed my shirt. You know, it's kind of cool out, but um, I have to keep this on. And uh, the lady said it looks good. But All anyway, right. we're going to see if we can go in over here. And um, a lot of fans want to see George Clooney. Maybe we can see Meryl Streep tonight well, and get a chance to holler at her. I tell you what, I bet you a million dollars you don't get anywhere near uh, into the building there where the Oscars are. And I warned you. Okay, well, you, come I, on with me. I warned you come to on. change your shirt, and you didn't listen to me. And that's what, when people don't listen to me, <laughs> They well, come lose. Come on, let's see what happens. Come on. All right, good luck, D. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Right. Let me talk to my Get, get through that guy. Hey, ask that <laughs> cop there. Excuse me. <laughs> Officer. I know. Is there, is there any way I can talk to the, the, the chief of security? So Let him through. The show's almost <laughs> over. Put the coke down, the, dude. The, the show is almost over. Right, Tell him right. to put the it's coke down. Over. Right. Tell him he, to put the coke down. He's advertising. He said put the coke down. He said you should make coke. He'll kill you. But anyway. Tell him he's had enough coke already. already. Okay. See. All right. Yeah. All but right. this is going to... This, this, okay. Hello, my name. Okay. My name is Raymond Muriel. I'm all over Facebook and Instagram. Get him off. I don't want to hear from you. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. But this is this is the 90th Academy Awards. All right. And, Thank and, you. And, and <laughs> does anyone have and, uh, any news on Mark? Do we have no, any news? no. This is the 90th Academy Awards. Thank and, you, uh, Lou. Thank you, D. You're done. Goodbye. Do you know what hospital that they were okay, taking? Thank you. I think they. Right. I don't know. I have no idea. Hollywood Presbyterian. Or yes, yes, yes. Wherever Heisman. we are, closest hospital would be two minutes, five minutes away. I'm sure. Uh, Cedars. Because we could call to the hospital uh, and get just, an update. Just, just be patient. He's going to be all right. All right. Uh, as we were going to, we were going to do this. Uh, I don't. This is Jaws 2's 40th anniversary. We've been, do you want to, uh, we want to do this now? I don't know if this is the right time. Uh, can you do me a favor? What are those, the, the, we should probably get the I, Rat Pack back. Oh, I, I mean, paid those guys because I, but I don't know if they're still here. Can you go find them? I think we should I can use look, a little, but I think they probably would have left. Use, use a little music right now. Rat Pack? Rat Pack? Rat Pack? Okay, I think they're this. Greg? Greg? All right, let's move along and say. Happy birthday to Jaws 2. Okay. I'll get them. Hey, you guys. Hey. Wait, could, could you guys do a song? Oh, oh, sure. sure. I'd I love to do, do a song. I need to talk to somebody from either the hospital or from somebody that the EMS, that whoever took them, you know what I mean? Because I'm in the, some, does somebody know who we should be even calling with him? Joe? I, I got no idea. What, what hospital did they go to? Do That's you know? what I'm asking. I don't, we have to, somebody, does anyone have the- I didn't know where those paramedics- uh, Does he have an emergency contact? I mean, I'm saying, does he have an emergency contact? 
I don't know. All right, do one of your uh, jazz jazz songs, because I get a fuck here. Yeah, do we have any information on Mark? Yeah, I'm asking if you have any information on Mark. Well, how did, I mean, that's not enough time for that to happen to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, no, the whole thing is that the, that he was in there for like three minutes. And if the air was if the air was cut off, that's not my fault. That's because that's somebody that is responsible for the for setting up. This, you know, that that's a prop house question. So if he's a, uh, but if he's asking me, it, who's who's in charge of the props? That's props oh, or wardrobe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Well, what are you telling? What are you telling me? When the evening's over, do they know? Do they know where he, what his status is? Is it where? What is? They don't know. Well, the, because somebody here is telling me he's fucking dead. The people here, the guy, the kid that was working on here, what's his name? Act, uh, man, Manuel. Did, well, we have to call somebody about that because uh, if not, we have to stop the show. Yeah, no, I've been holding for five minutes. Okay, well, somebody, I'll keep my phone on because if he's gone, we have to stop the show. We're not going to do the show if he's gone. Okay, uh, yeah, well, call me back. Oh, thanks, Sam. Well, they're saying that, ta they're sa excuse me, they're saying that he's gone. Um, that he didn't make it to the hospital. So, um, yeah, oh. yeah. Let's take a break. I mean, he just, something happened with the suit. I don't know. We should. Oh man, I got a question for you. Get the fuck out! You say one more word, I'll fucking smack oh, you in the mouth. Right. Get the fuck out! All right. Get the fuck out! Oh wow! Get the fuck is the matter? Get the fuck out! Is this guy related to Jerry? Yeah, let's, uh, all right, now, why don't we, um, we have to, we have, we'll probably have to stop the show, mm -hmm. you know? You want to, they want to do, they want to finish this up, because we're still live, so get, finish the, uh, you know what I mean? When he passed here, I made a point to look at his chest and it was not moving. Well, folks, the show must go on, as they say in show business. Uh, um, this one's for Mark. We... Um, you know, I don't know if we want to say any, this is just, you know, I don't know what, what, we, what we're supposed to say here. Uh, in a, a couple of positive elements, 
our guys are working on something. I want to give a minute. Um, they, you know, first of all, you know, in a way, you know, you could probably speak to this. You know him better than me. Um, he's not a guy. He was not a guy who had a lot of. He was. He wasn't somebody that had a lot of. Res he didn't take. He didn't have kids. Uh, he didn't have. You know what I mean? He didn't have a lot of family and everything like that. So, um, I mean, this is new stuff. This is pretty new, you know. I'm in shock. I think, honestly, I am. And the other thing I wanted to just say, we be, you know, just for the record, because we are live, I wanted to get this out. He did sign. Uh, Mark, Mark signed a basic release, which essentially is a... Um, waiver in, a, in terms of if something should happen that there is a lot of risk in, involved in this <coughs> business and he is a, an impressionist is a stunt man in a way and that these are certain sort of art are acting stunts that he does so that should be something I don't want to focus on that because that's sort of negative but uh, we got do we have it ready we uh, this is you know uh, I don't know what to say. Do you want to say anything? I mean, this is, we put this together. He's irreplaceable. He's, he's one of a kind, I'll put it that way. Uh, this is a tribute to Mark that we put together. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and foes, I'm, I'm W.C. Fields, and I'm happy to be here at no, the second annual. I was 17, carved our names in the maple tree. A lot of a lot of the people think that the stunts hurt, but they never hurt. Uh, we always used rubber hammers, and um, uh, foam wrenches. <laughs> Who said that he was gone? Because that's, all right. But, so who's there now is my thing. You know what I mean? Like, who's there now, right? Because everyone's telling me, so everyone's telling me two different things. So what are they, what? they say that he's not, he said he's at the hospital and then he's, they have him, all right. Uh, all right, well, that's Wait, it. Can I, am I all right? Can I say that? You're saying he's fine? Can I say that? You're saying he's fine? Hold on. Can I say that? You're saying he's fine. So who's all right? Well, I have to find out who said that before. Do you, you know what I mean? I have what to are find they saying? Out. They're saying he's alive. Who are you talking to? Hold on. They're saying who he's is alive. This? Okay. Who is on the Thank phone? You. Who's on the phone? All right. Uh, all right. I will call Jesus you in Christ. a minute. Who is on the phone? That's Andrew. He said that he's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there is some news coming in, and Mark Proach apparently they they. The paramedics had thought that he was gone, uh, or somebody told the paramedics that he was gone, but they do have him breathing right now. And yeah, mm -hmm. so he is, um, he's, oh, I mean, I don't know what. I don't know, Joe. I mean, they told me that, that the first guy told me he was gone. You know? And I, I now didn't they're see saying his chest moving when he was 
there was a EKG. They got some brain activity. I don't know. There, he's being, he's in ER. He's in intensive care or something. So okay. he's okay. So he's and, gonna um, bounce back. I, I. Uh, this is, is the problem. Is old? Do you, do you know? This is the problem with doing live television. Is we're going, basically, off the seat of our pants here, and no one's giving me straight who, the straight scoop. But where was so Andrew we don't, at the hospital, or, or who, was he on the phone? Andrew's with talking to the guy, somebody that's with him at the hospital. Okay. Now we can't get in touch with his family. I don't think he's got relatives. In well, they the wouldn't area. even be in the area. It doesn't matter. I know. We, we got to talk to a doctor or somebody at the hospital. Or we're send send one of the interns the, to the hospital. Andrew's with a, a guy from our production here who's at the hospital who says that he is on a breathing machine or he's on he's in some kind of he's not they're not he, he's not the morgue. Okay, and that should be an something Oscar. we're 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 excited about. You know, that's really positive. So um, let's, I've got a, a Oscar tip that. Um, Call Me By Your Name for Best Song is about to win, probably in about 30 seconds, so. All right. All right, well, let's get back to the Oscars. Mark, we're, we're, we're rooting for you, Mark. He's going to be okay. He's going to be all right. Mark's back. That's a relief. Yeah. I mean, that was scary because I'll tell you, I saw him down there, and I didn't see any breathing. You know, usually you see somebody going, the, the belly going up and He's down. He's not a very I, emotive guy to begin with. It's true, I didn't think about that. He is kind of sort of a quiet type. How would you remember him? Is it Don't say always feel? remember him, Joe. There's not, uh, he's yeah, here, you're he's right. alive. You're right. you're right. He's clearly alive. And uh, you know, uh, that's something I wouldn't be able to deal with, frankly. I would be I don't want to make it about me, but if something should happen to him, I don't know what I'd, well, you know. Well, with props that you rented, especially. I did not have, I, hey, remember this? This is my, this is what I like to call a get out of jail free card because this, Mark signed it, and I have evidence that he signed it too. But so when you signed it, he probably didn't even read it. I mean, you're just, so? you're just assuming it's nothing. Well. Because this sort of thing doesn't happen. I don't, it doesn't matter anymore because Mark's out of the woods. And everything's going to be great. Uh, Did they say that he's talking or responding to Coco? Oh, sorry, Greg. You, sorry, Greg. You had just said that uh, we're call getting word now that name that, uh, "Call Me by Your Name" song was going to win. Yeah, well, it's and like it the just winner won is best. Coco. That we can confirm. So your uh, your tip, your inside guy, is uh, no good. No good. Oh. All right. Wow. No, well, because, no, because I, well, then maybe this, and that's the bad information. No, I think we can confirm that. I thought that was a sure thing. Yeah, Greg. Call All right, me why by don't we go name. to uh, the Super Oscars. Greg, this is your final installment of the Super Oscars. All right. Um, so the Super Oscars is once every 20 years. I'm so relieved. I, I yeah, mean, I know I'm because I'm I'm like shaking. It's ugh, I can't deal with that kind of shit anymore. So between uh, these five movies, uh, it's Argo, and then between these five movies, the winner is Lord of Rings. So at the end or after the break or something, we'll have the. Uh, it's between these two movies to win the platinum, coveted platinum super Oscar, and we'll have those results. Um, we'll put it up for a poll. Put that up as a poll, and people can vote on that, and then we'll have the, uh, the winner. I'm gonna go check on the situation with Mark. Well, they're just props. They're not. This is all junk. Yeah, but it's um, this like Jaws would eat a fish like, like we're this. We're back, and be... uh, I don't know, man. I just been. I'm catching my breath here. This has been a lot of uh, a, a very tough night, and um, I think I think it's okay. You know, I mean, I've been praying 
and I spoke with Billy Graham on uh, just sort of on my own, sort of uh, asked him what to do, and maybe he brought good old Mark back. I don't know, maybe Mark did pass. Maybe he did one of those things where he passed away and came back to life. Did we you don't see know. that movie Beyond and Back from uh, 1980? It's like a documentary about no, that. People that died not, and I'm came back to life. I'm not talking about life. movies right now. I'm talking about Sanctity of Life. And Mark Or like makes Million such Dollar a good Baby, point. which is yes, another. Million Dollar Baby. So she's in a coma. Anyways, we are not going to bring it. That was very challenging for me. I mean, that's as challenging as it gets. And... Uh, but I want to bring things back to a positive light because this is about Jaws 2, 40. Oh, Lordy, guess who's 40? Jaws 2 is 40. Hip, hip, hooray! And bring out the cake. We have a cake. I've been waiting for this. I'm starving. That hot dog made me sick. I vomited from that hot dog chap. Hank. Jaws. So my stomach is empty, and I need some sugar. I need some Jaws sugar. Give me a... So ladies and gentlemen, have cake if you're at home, but this is cool. This is Jaws for uh, 40th anniversary. No, put, don't put it right here. Be smart. Right here. I'm not putting this on. Get these out of here. Get these out of here. Okay. Give me that cake, baby. All right. Hey, guys, you want to come over for some cake? Come on over. Jeez. Manuel. Hey, I got to say, you know, Manuel's been... Awesome tonight. He helped out and made sure that Mark was cool because he was you you took charge. Take that stupid of shit off. You don't need to wear that. You look like an idiot. Yeah. Help yourself with some cake. I'm gonna did have Mark, some. When you were attending to Mark, did it, did he seem dead? He's or did fine. He seem... No, well, he's all right, man. First, who wants first cake? Place, so happy birthday to Jaws. Happy birthday to Jaws. Oh, show the cake off, Greg. No, no, no. Hold on. Yeah, she's all right. Yeah. Shit. That's kind of how we all felt. All right. Well, yeah. listen, accidents happen as we learned tonight. Happy birthday to Joe's. <laughs> they got Josh from, from uh, James Bond, get that off. Richard Keel, who passed away. Anyways, that's good cake, too bad. Um, Greg, you had the finale. A uh, big finale from Greg. Oh, oh you hey. know what we never did was the, 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 we had a segment that Mark's shenanigans sort of cut into, but the um, this is a case of memorabilia from the Rat Pack movie that I've collected over the years. It's museum quality stuff. There's the original script from the Rat Pack movie from 1998. By the way, we this got the is best the VHS sealed, sealed Steve copy Spielberg. of the uh, Rat Pack on VHS. This is a magazine with a cover story on the Rat Pack movie. And this is probably the most valuable of any of these things. If you can zoom in on this, that is an I'm actual. I'm curious about that. What's the, who won the Super Th Rat? That's an invitation to the Rat Pack world premiere which was in las vegas in 1998 that's an actual oh, great. invitation if you can zoom the, in on uh, that super oscars greg we're gonna do that now um so we put that up uh for vote and let's just see what the people said um best director on the real oscars um Steve well Spiller. i got this tip five minutes ago but i guess probably everyone knows now it was jordan peele okay um so for the Super Oscars, and this is different than the Oscars in that this is up to you guys to uh, vote and decide. And the winner is the best movie of the last 20 years and the first annual winner of the Super Oscars of Platinum. It's, a, it's the Oscar statuette in Platinum, so it's very valuable. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord of the Rings, return of the king okay is the winner of the super oscars well thank you everybody peter jackson uh and company with one of the great movies of all time the and you know this was scientific uh basically 20 years worth of great movies and there's been a lot of them and this comes out on top so that's right. a triumph and do you um 
We've been, we haven't really talked about this tonight, but you have a finale, big finale you're going to do with Mark. So do you want to cut that? I don't, yeah, we can't really do it because it's, it was a showcase for Mark. He was playing both roles. It was, um, do we have the script? I think it would be nice if we did it because we don't have a, a finale. Well, and if Mark, uh, if there's a script for it, Joe, you can read the script from it, maybe. What's that? No, 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 no. No, no, you'd be well, set it up, Greg. Yeah. Um, well, this the uh, this is kind of bittersweet because my finale was um, something I wrote with Mark in mind. It was kind of a showcase for him as an as an impressionist. And also, it was um, it was kind of designed to tie into what I was saying about Close Encounters of the Third Kind being actually the real Jaws 2. So wait a minute, say that again. Jaws 2 was originally intended to be Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Steven Spielberg agreed and signed the contract to direct Jaws 2. But he wanted to get the shark element out of it and make it about an alien coming to Earth. Is and this true? Are you yeah, this is true. And they said, well, you can't do that. That has nothing to do with Jaws. And he said, I don't care. This is about Richard Dreyfuss's character of Dr. Hooper. And that's what people want to see. So Jaws 2 was written, and they began filming with Steven Spielberg directing. And then <coughs> Universal Pictures said, this, is, this has nothing to do with sharks, pulled the plug on the whole thing. So Spielberg, with his own money, continued to make this movie. <clears throat> and they retitled it Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So as a result of that, I came up with what would have been sort of a cool finale for Close Encounters of the Third Kind called Close Encounters of the Movie Kind. Okay. So it's kind of a parody or a tribute to Close Encounters of the Third Kind this and Jaws 2. And Mark was going to be a showcase. Mark was going to play all roles. He was going to play the role right. of the alien and the role of Richard Dreyfuss. Well, do we have, and how is he going to do the alien? Well, we had pre-recorded the alien, so he Are was going to act opposite of the, of the voice of the alien, and then he was going to do Dreyfus Live. Do we have this set up? Can we run it with Joe as Mark? Well, this, they, they didn't unpack the UFO. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Joe, are you up for doing something on the fly? I have a script. Uh, I, I, I didn't see the script, but yeah, I mean. Okay. Let's try well, it, don't because we don't have a finale. Do you want to? I mean, uh, if something should happen to you, I hope Mark would would step up to the plate, don't you think? Yeah. Joe, if you no, can I mean, read I, for yeah. Richard Dreyfus, I mean, we didn't what do you, set I mean, what up the... What do you the, say to that? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course, sure, I'll do it. Because so, yeah, we didn't okay. set up the UFO, it was going to be... Um, All right, folks, this, this is script? live TV, uh, so this is uh, this going on the fly. Uh, Manuel, do you want to take, take Greg's place here? We could... Yeah. This was going to be the UFO. So Mark's going to be the alien. So the setting for this is a grassy field in Roswell, New Mexico. You have the script. A UFO lands. Richard Dreyfus approaches from his character okay. from Jaws. And the UFO door opens, and there is a green alien observing Dreyfus. So I, I, am I you're, Dreyfus? You're Dreyfus, and then the alien is going to be Mark. In so you going to read Mark? Or? No, no. We... we pre-taped that. So you uh, you do that and I'm going to okay. just watch. The uh, you want to give me an action or something? Or? Action. Uh, hold, hold. Who goes there? We are beings from, from a far, far away land. We come in peace. We wish to learn about your culture. Well, our culture is in the midst of a great uh, uh, era here. The, the golden era, the silver screen. Movies have brought peace of mind to all who enjoy them. They teach and they, they entertain. Ah, but you don't understand. We, uh, we on Mars have been enjoying Earth's movies for many years now. The flickering light from your drive-in theaters beckoned to us and is the very reason we decided to visit your planet. Please explain. We have been watching your movies for decades. We have learned so much about the Earth people, and we have figured out a way to simulate popcorn on Mars. 
It is called Dalork. It tastes 99% like popcorn, but is made from intergalactic flowers grown on Mars. But tell me, can you take me to meet the Great One? Your leader, Humphrey Bogart. Bogey? Yes. We have loved his performances for decades. Casablanca, the Maltese Falcon, the Treasure of the Sierra Madre, and the African Queen. On Mars, he is considered a hero. I oh, he, he is here on Earth, too. Perhaps, uh, perhaps our, our cultures is not as different as people think. It was Bogey's performance in Casablanca that captivated our Martian population so much that many of our newborn Martians over the past few decades have been named their offspring have named their offspring Humphrey Bogey Bogart. You see on Mars there are millions of Humphrey Bogarts. Then, then Mars is a place I, 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 I would love Our to be. Our cultures must learn to coexist in movie theaters open to all residents of the galaxy. You see, this close encounter of a movie kind has been beneficial to all the universe. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. A friendship. I agree. And now, let me introduce to you a little friend of mine named E.T. <laughs> Listen, thank you, turn that off. Here's the real deal. Turn that off. Turn it off. Turn it off. That came out pretty good. Turn the music off. I want to thank everybody. Can you turn the music off? This has been an incredible night. Can we, I mean, can somebody turn it off? I want to say something because Please, uh, turn it off. Uh, please turn it off. No, I want to talk. I got something to say. Now listen. Uh, you, you know, we all learned something tonight. I miss Mark, and I'm glad he's alive because he's my friend. And you're my friend. And anybody that sits around watching movies and cares about who wins and loses is friend. sick. No, no, and no. Yes, because we have to spend more time hugging each other and loving each other. You can do that while watching movies. This is a lesson to be learned that we, we all are, have a short time on this planet. And if we spend it worrying about who's win, who wins an Oscar, you might as well put a gun in your mouth. We are the future, and we have to spend more time loving each other and not hating each other. And I love the Rat Pack, and I love Joe! Get over here, Joe! You son of a bitch, and Maxim, and Homel. Come here, you cunts. Get over here. I want to hug you so badly. I'm so glad you're not gone. I'm even so much of you.
you've given so much to me, and you've given so much to us. And Joe, you've given hey, so you, much to you us. Big lug. I'm so sorry that everything bad happened tonight. Uh, and Mark is going to be fine. He's going to be just fine. He just ran out of air for a while. Good night.